Aha! You're finally here. It's been a while, my sweet seed of fate. Are you here for the flowers? Perfect timing. They're about to bloom. Consultants roam all across Solaris, and when they return, they always bring rare flower seeds as souvenirs. I just enjoy planting them. Watching them grow, waiting for them to bloom. You know, waiting makes the fruits so much sweeter. Of course, I have my own special seed. Every day, I'm consumed by the urge to see it thrive. Trembling with excitement for its bloom, the soft touch of petals unfolding in my palm. This feeling, I can't wait to make it mine. <laughs> it's the best thing ever to watch and protect it as its breeder. Just a little fun of mine. Well, how's it going? Enjoying your time here? I heard you got the shorekeeper and all of us out of a huge mess, huh? <laughs> I expected as much. You've shown great potential since you arrived in Jinjo. Didn't know the shorekeeper would entrust a newcomer with such important tasks. She trusts you. A lot. You are... Hey, Bloombera. It's Beatrice. Remember me from the aerosol? I hate to ask, but could you come back to the aerosol? What happened? We've run into some trouble, and honestly, you're the only one the shorekeeper trusts to handle it. I'll explain everything when you get here. Thanks a lot, and don't worry, there'll be a reward for you. Oh, congratulations, Miss Popularity. Whatever. If only you could be mine. I'd root you in my garden, where only I could savor your sweet, robust vitality. <laughs> Just kidding. Hope you don't mind. Strange. I felt this way before. <laughs> Interesting. Bloombera, there you are. It's been a while, and you still look great. Since you came to the Black Shores, so many unexpected things have happened. Even the shorekeeper made an appearance. Anyway, let's get to the point. 
Do you remember what the aerosol is for? Great. Your memory is as sharp as ever. The problem is, one of the prisoners has escaped. It's headed towards the Necrostar and seems to be trying to go even deeper. The shorekeeper is tied up with modulation and can't leave. That's why I need your help to recapture it and prevent any more incidents. You're the best person for the job. The escapee is hiding, but we can use the remnants of its data to track it down. I think I heard something. What's the matter? While investigating, I discovered that a few years ago, a consultant accessed these data. She was out in the field recently and just returned to the Black Shores. You should check in with her first. All right. I'll call if I get anything. Thank you. I'm counting on you. You must be that bloom bearer, right? Beatrice filled me in on what happened. The reason I looked into that Stella Matrix is because of this little guy I found in the wild. When I found it, it had been non-functional for a long time. I tried to fix it, but I couldn't salvage much data. I only got this damaged recording. The Black Shores leader handled the issue herself. So I brought this Lady Flora back to the Black Shores? The recording ends there. I had just joined the Black Shores back then, feeling curious about everything, especially about our leader. Everything about her was shrouded in mystery, and only a select few had ever met her. But I didn't give up. I started looking into the other name mentioned in the recording, Lady Flora. The Stella Matrix you're hunting down contained information about Lady Flora. But I found nothing. Someone deliberately erased the data, and I'm locked out from any remaining traces. Yeah, that piqued my interest. So I asked, well, pestered my seniors to see if I could get anything. Lady Flora was said to be very close to the Black Shores leader. They were inseparable and carried out many missions together. Unfortunately, Lady Flora has been missing for nearly two decades. Missing? Seems like I can't use this clue to locate that matrix. Not necessarily. You're a trusted bloom bearer of the Shorekeeper, right? The Hall of Foreign Affairs stores a lot of information about the Black Shores personnel. Try your luck there. Maybe you'll find something.
Hello, Bloom Bearer. What brings you here? Oh, but Lady Flora's item was already picked up by another Bloom Bearer. Who took it? You looking for me? <laughs> if you want it, try to catch me. Something's on the ground. I need to check it out. Another Camellia. She's never tired of these little games. I have no choice but to catch up with Camellia first. Oh, you're quick. I knew you wouldn't keep me waiting. Were you following me? Yeah. Is that a problem? I followed you to the cell on a whim. Then I heard something interesting. Plus, this thing is just finding its way back to its owner. I see no wrong in that. To its owner? Are you that Lady Flora? Yes and no. Just like you, I've completely forgotten about the past. All of it. So, I guess I'm not the Lady Flora you're looking for. Of course, I did some digging. But a little accident stopped me. If Camellia is Lady Flora, then we were supposed to be close, but neither of us remembers. The fact that I used to be the leader? This should only be known to the shorekeeper. Maybe I shouldn't mention it to Camellia until I'm sure she's not a threat. If you want to use that trinket to find the problematic Matrix, then play with me. Entertain me, and I'll help you. Well, then I'll take this and make a run for it. You can try to catch me, but be warned, it won't be an easy chase. Or you could play along, and maybe I'll let you have it. It'll be more fun that way. Since you handled the Thranodian, a little game of battle shouldn't be too much trouble for you, right? As a bloom bearer, I need to pick the perfect seeds for the Black Shores and give them my utmost care. All these years, I haven't met anyone intriguing, not one person. You're my seed of fate. If I let you go so easily, all my efforts, my yearning, my hunger will not be satisfied. If you get taken or killed by somebody else, I would be very, very, very unhappy.
Why? It's pure instinct. Flowers thirst for water. Beasts hunger for flesh. It's nature, just like my craving for you. I want it, and I get it. That's how I live. That fleeing stellar matrix might affect the Necrostar's functioning. Worse, it could threaten the Black Shores. So? I don't care. If this island's gonna blow up, so be it. Unless, of course, it ruins my fun. <sighs> Are you angry? <laughs> Your anger is so delicious. Fight me. I can't wait to see who'll be the winner. I've been itching to get a taste of your blade. <laughs> Fantastic! Let's get started. While you are handling the troubles at the Black Shores, I was stuck in a medical pod and missed the whole show. What a pity I couldn't witness it in person. Show me your blade, your strength. No astral modulation. Ready for battle. The fresh, pulsating despair from my enemies is always delightful. <laughs> Vow from the soul. <laughs> Stay calm. What a show! You never disappoint me. With you around, the days ahead will be so much fun. The game's over. Here you go, the thing I promised you. Let's keep going, my hero. The info in that matrix is related to you. With you by my side, I should be able to locate and capture it faster. <laughs> All right, so... We need to solve this accident as soon as possible, and you promised to help if I played a game with you. <laughs> Guess I have no other choice, huh? Well, it's lovely to see you being a little pushy, too. I like your serious side. Sure, I'll go. What else do you know about Lady Flora? You said a small accident happened during your investigation. Yeah, ended up stuck in a boring medical pod for half a month and almost died from severe overclocking. Sure, it's no big deal, since I survived. Hmm, my memories were sealed by Lady Flora somehow. No matter how much I try to recall, it doesn't work. I only remember waking up in a cave, my mind completely blank, drifted aimlessly for years until I stumbled upon the Black Shores.
And guess what? Turns out I had lived here before. Naturally, I wanted to investigate further and figure it out. So that's what I did. I'm sure I uncovered the truth behind my memory loss. But when I woke up in the medical pot again, I'd forgotten everything. Guess somehow I almost died from overclocking when I learned about my past, and I had to seal my memories away again. That's pretty much what happened, I think. I still don't know why Lady Flora did that, though. Well, I don't really care. I can have fun with or without those memories. It doesn't sound like you're talking about your past self. Hello, are you listening? Told you I remember nothing. So, Lady Flora is more like a stranger to me. It's like watching a movie. No matter how happy or sad the story is, it's someone else's story after all. Don't you feel the same? Tell me, what was on your mind when you witnessed those stories, staring at every frame on the screen? <laughs> you don't care, do you? I knew we'd think alike. Anyway, I'll trust my instincts over some distant memories. As long as my instincts remain, I'm still me. Yeah, and what's wrong with that? My instincts rule me, and I rule them. I feel great joy when they are fulfilled, and when I ignore them, I suffer in return. They guide me, like how duty and responsibility guides you. Who says one is better than the other? Drop this boring discussion. Shall we split up to find the other stuff? Sure. Whoever finds it first will go meet up with the other. Ooh, then it's a competition. I'm in. Let the search begin. This Blake Bloom is... She's so slow! <laughs> Looks like I'm going to win. Oh, I can sense my prey deep inside. So many of them. How wonderful. The lovely smell of all my prey. Finally, 
Something that gets my blood pumping. Found you! It's getting fun! The way you fought really makes my heart race. Such power, such vitality. Ugh, oh, I wish I were the one dancing this deadly, bloody, beautiful waltz with you. I wanted to help you up. <laughs> I... You're on the edge of overclocking, and you were in a medical pod before. Does this happen often? Yeah. Oh, are you worried about me? You're so sweet. I'm almost blushing. And I'm good at dancing on the edge. I won't let myself overclock that easily. But if it does happen, I'll just accept it as my fate. It's very dangerous. You know the risks, right? Of course I do. But once severe overclocking symptoms appear, they can't be cured, can they? And I'm happy. It's been a blast competing and taking down those tacit discords with you. That's all I need to have a good time. If one day I die from overclocking, so be it. The Black Shores will make sure there's no tacit field generated from me. I've always followed my instincts, ignored anything that didn't interest me. No regrets, even if I died now. Carpe diem! Enjoy the moment! Life is boring if you're stuck in the past or consumed by the future. Anyway, what have you found? I got a stack of damaged photos. To locate that stellar matrix, we'll need three or four items tops. The remaining frequencies. Yes, it belongs to Lady Flora. It's been almost 20 years since the last frequencies were recorded. Lake blooms represent a bloom bearer's identity. They always have one on them. These frequencies can help us track Lady Flora's last activity. She and the leader of Black Shores vanished at the same time, no longer appearing in records. Around the same time, the two cases might be connected. Oh, right! I just remembered what that strange feeling I had earlier was. When I saw you in Jinjo, it felt as if I'd seen you somewhere else before. Anyway, have you told Beatrice that we're ready?
impressive. That's fast. Please head to the modulation hall. I'll meet you there. Bloombearer, please give me the things you just found. Oh, you want to come along, Camellia? She begged me to go with her, and it looked fun, so I agreed. Well, that's rare. The Camellia I know was only interested in going out to find candidates. Bloombearer, kudos to you for being able to get her to cooperate with you. Awesome. <laughs> That's quite a confident statement, but you do have the skills to back it up. With Camellia on this mission with you, you should be safer. Don't worry, I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Hold on, I need some time to process the data. Once that's done, you can dive into the Stella Matrix with our portal. Past, present, future... All the possibilities in the universe change within this swirling, starry sky. I'm starting to get a bit interested. What kind of me is hidden in there? Let's go! A new adventure awaits! Something... deep. Camellia. I'll catch! Then meet me! What happened, Lumira? Communication cut out. Something must have happened. Got separated from Camellia. I should check out the surroundings. I've sealed my memories. Letting the past fade into nothingness. Did I make the right choice? But she has already made her choice. Now I must make my own choice too. I'd rather die than live as a useless nobody. Is that Camellia? No. I'm inside a stellar matrix that holds Lady Flora's information, so it must be a simulation of some past event. Many years have passed, and here I am again. But I'm not going to stay at the Black Shores and live off old memories. Oh, my body's giving out. Need a place to rest soon. Camellia's illusion disappeared. Since she mentioned sealed her memories and returned, this must be the cave from... Did Camellia seal her memories because of my choice? 
Blue Bear, can you hear me? Something's not right. I'll get you out of the Stellar Matrix first. I'm sorry. That Matrix is more cunning than we anticipated. My mistake. Camellia is still inside that stellar Matrix. She was trapped inside and started to sink deeper. That's why you couldn't go any further. Besides, Camellia has found the Matrix core. Without her, it might have escaped again. Now, we'll create a symmetrical stellar Matrix, and that will allow you to reach the previously inaccessible areas. There will be various simulated areas. To reach the destination, you need to find and jump to the correct timeline junctures. Due to a mutated stellar matrix, you may not reach the destination in one go. Multiple jumps might be required to get there. Please stay safe. The previous recording mentioned a few survivors from the Tacit Discord outbreak, but in this Petalfall village, everyone perished except for Camellia. The situation here seems to differ from my timeline. It's locked. So, Camellia, in her overclocked state, damaged the locked door's security system when her mind was unclear? I need to restore the security system first. The mutated plants have grown so large. Camellia in this timeline has severely overclocked. Earlier, 
This is for you. Camellia disappeared. So does that gate lead to a new juncture? Lady Flora once overclocked so much that her mind was heavily damaged, and her language abilities degenerated. Then, the Camellia I know... I'm back on the surface of the Black Shores Island. I should go look around. It's really you. Heard I can find the Black Shores here. Glad I didn't come to the wrong place. Camellia. Or call me Lady Flora if you want. People from Petalfall Village like to call me that. You left in such a hurry. We didn't even get a chance to talk. I felt... off. Like I missed out on something important. So I came here alone to find you. How's the situation in Petalfall Village? The injured have been transferred to other nearby villages. Most of the villagers are safe and sound, thanks to your timely rescue. Most of the villagers are safe. And with the way Camellia looks now, it seems I'm in an alternate timeline again. But even if the history has changed, we still met each other. You're the Blackshore's leader, aren't you? Yes. I... I snuck in here, but please don't drive me out. I have my own forte now. I can work for you. I... don't know. Those consultants said my Rebels test showed I awakened my forte. But in the village, I didn't feel anything special. And I don't remember anything before coming to the village. Yes. Villagers said I appeared in the woods by their lake one autumn morning. That's all I remember. Didn't have anywhere else to go, so I stayed in that village. Can I stay with you here? At the Black Shores? I... I want to serve you. Make me your bloom bearer. Huh. Join us if you pass the assessment. The Black Shores welcomes those who protect the world. Great, but I... I still don't know your name. Tell me, please. Oh, it's a beautiful name. I'll never forget it.
I'm so happy, really, really happy that my vines feel so light. How strange. This is our first formal conversation, but... It feels like I had heard your name before. Look, this is my forte. I quite like it. I want to shadow you. See how a strong person like you moves forward. This flower is for you. I'm looking forward to the days ahead. Done with the work? You should get some rest. I've been super well behaved these past few days. Did everything as you said. Didn't cause any trouble or go to places I shouldn't. You need some discipline, robot. How dare you interrupt my conversation with her? You want to know the situation in Petalfall Village? I can tell you. I was there, remember? It's been a few months since the tacit discords attacked the village. I turned into a flower tree due to overclocking and trapped those feeble creatures in an underground cave. Kuriri's recording mentioned that Camellia was found in an underground cave. Looks like this time I jumped to the right juncture. Oh, I threw them out of the village when I started transforming. They would have died if they stayed. Not many survived, but some did. They managed to hold on until you showed up and they guided you to find me. What a surprise. Thought they'd run away when I threw them out. I have no interest in those crybabies. But since they took me in for a while, I owed them a favor. <laughs> That's a cute way to put it. What? I'm speaking from my heart. I don't want to spare a glance at those weaklings. I despise weaklings, myself included. I was a sorry sap when I turned into that plant. But you saved me. You pulled me out of overclocking and brought me back to sanity. I should thank you. I don't remember anything before I arrived in that village. I don't care anyway. You're the only one who's ever made me feel so excited. So, 
How about making me your bloom bearer? You see, who else can keep me from causing trouble elsewhere? Right? Making me yours exactly aligns with the interests of Solaris. And as you just said, would make the world a safer place. Just so you know, when I was doing the Rebel test, the staff said I'm still prone to overclocking. I may have great power now, but I might lose it or fall prey to my emotions again someday. If that day comes, then I'll embrace it as my destiny. Fate's already brought us together, and I'll pay any cost for that. It's led me to the most exquisite flower in this world. I'll give anything for it, no hesitation. Did you know? Climbing plants are obsessed with big, gorgeous trees, clinging on to them like their life depends on it, sucking up all the energy they can get from the sun. They're driven by an insatiable hunger to savor their beloved tree down to the last bit. One day, we'll have plenty of time together. You can definitely rigorously train me. <laughs> this flower is for you. <laughs> To express my... It's the correct timeline juncture. Initiating jump now. little troublemaker is clever, having set all these traps. But now its core is cornered here. It can't run any further. I can handle it easily when I find it. It's a pity I got separated from her. I wish she could see what I just saw in those alternative timelines. Can't wait to see her reactions. If I hadn't returned to the Black Shores and become a Bloom Bearer again, it was still possible for us to reunite. I saw it. Whether as a wandering traveler or as a Fraxidus member, I got to meet her anyway. I've sealed my memories, letting the past fade into nothingness. Did I make the right choice? Is that me? They said this matrix contains Lady Flora's information, so this must be something I had experienced in the past. Sealed memories and this cave. This is where I first awoke. Seems like this is what Lady Flora last saw before she decided to seal her memories. But she has already made her choice. Now I must make my own choice too. Huh. I'd rather die than live as a useless nobody. So I knew her before. <laughs> That's it. She's a magnet for all kinds of fun. 
Now let's see what else we can stir up. Guess I'd better not use my forte, or I'd be at a disadvantage when she catches up later. Is it a flower seed on the base? That flower is craving a flower seed. Guess I should place a seed there to unlock the gate. As I expected. The flower seed has unveiled the hidden path. <laughs> this space seems to defy its creator's will to aid me. illusion is ahead. <laughs> if this is indeed the final moments before you sealed your memories, let me find out the reasons. Let me see why you made that choice. she still made that choice. I never asked her much about the Black Shores or her past. <laughs> I didn't care. As long as we were both happy when we crossed blades, I was happy. But now she wants to leave, and even abandon her memories? Doing all of this for what? A so-called better outcome? <laughs> for the Black Shores, a better future must mean saving Solaris. I don't care about that at all. Why? Why do I have to lose my only beloved playmate, my most cherished opponent? Here at the Black Shores, she's the most tracked one by far. Hmm. Is this an illusion from the past? Looks like I used to be quite sentimental. Though I had this guess well in the previous junctures, she was indeed the former Black Shores leader. Crafting supper! Crooning! My rebel index has worsened. The doctors and the shorekeeper said I need rest. Huh. They mean well. But I know myself better. Rest won't help. I've lost my anchor. She's no longer here to rein me in. I've started remembering things from before I came to Petalfall Village. Huh. Was our encounter there a gift from fate? Or a curse? about the past will only make my overclocking worse. She's gone. I can choose to wait, 
But will she really return? What if I'm already dead by then? What if I never see her again? Dead is dead. It means the end. There's no point in imagining all this. Fearing loneliness and death. These emotions are so unfamiliar. So strange. The lovely smell of all my fragrance and blossom! What happened? My chest feels so tight, and I feel a little unwell. I must be affected by the environment. My body and emotions are... This stellar matrix is starting to fight back. I'd better hurry up and take it down. A little treat. Grafting, suffer! What are you yearning for? Even with treatment, I'll barely be able to maintain my current state. But constant overclocking and forced corrections will ruin me in the end. I can feel my energy and power draining away day by day. Huh. Even if she one day returns, what will I be able to do for her? Trapped in my body, needing her pity for love and attention. If that's how I'll end up, I'd rather die on the spot. I will never become a pitiful weakling. Like that! Ugh, my body... It's acting up again. Is it... The surroundings? <laughs> Why am I always held back by overclocking? Damn it! Time to go. To where I met her. It will be closure for me. For this cherished connection. I'll leave the bracelet she gave me here in the Black Shores. I can't just sit here and rot away, clinging to old memories. There is... another way to keep overclocking from eating me inside out. A way to control my emotions. Stop the past from haunting me. A way to forget it all.
I will abandon my memories like she once did, sealing them away. Sanity is a gift from her. I will not give it up that easily. I am one and the same with my instincts. Like flowers thirst for water and beasts hunger for flesh. With or without my memories, my instincts will still guide me to her. When we meet again, I hope she remains my worthy opponent. Friends or foes, united and unbound. It's a dream come true. <laughs> Indeed, that's the choice I would make. <clears throat> I will bloom to my fullest. Follow my desires till the end of it all. A little treat. <sighs> what are you yearning for? See the road ahead. One more step. I can't die here. I passed the bloom bearer test. Take me with you next time, please. I'll try my best to control myself for you, dear master. You'll abandon all memories and start over? Where are you going? <sighs> Having been there so many times, I thought I was used to overclocking. about power, about being free. And now, you're just a loser. Shut up! <laughs> the lovely smell of all my prey. <laughs> Come be my prey, sweet little birdie. Uh, I'm 
consume and be consumed by power. What's wrong with that? I have no plan to drown here. The lovely How pathetic. Everything will be forgotten anyway. What is the point? What do you know? <laughs> you will never be her equal, ever. Forget and be forgotten. So what? Rover, I traveled far and wide in our time apart. Fate led me back to you every time. Once, I was a nameless traveler, passing you right by. Once, I joined the Fraxidus, and we met in battle. I may forget you again and again, but as long as I still have my instincts, I'll always gravitate towards you. And I know, you'll find me at the end of it all. Pesky creature together! Bad timing. Wonderful sound. <laughs> oh, fighting by your side feels so good! My heart, my pulse, my frequencies, the vibrations are driving me crazy! Wonderful sound. Struggle harder! Entertain me! And try! Scamming! Hop down with the curtain! Bloom from Ashen Shell! <laughs> Such weaklings. I haven't had enough fun yet. Anyway, where did you go after that? How did you find this place? You saw those possible iterations of history too? So you really were the leader of Black Shores. No wonder I felt something familiar when I first saw you outside Jinjo. I saw a lot of interesting stuff. I woke up in that cave a decade ago, traveled all across Solaris before I ended up back at the Black Shores. The Matrix showed me several different iterations of my past, 
Looks like even the smallest deviations can lead to entirely different outcomes. But one constant remained. You always saved me, and we always found each other. Our encounter is preordained in every future. My beloved seed, my only rival. And you just helped me with my overclocking. Hmm, I won't let it happen again. Gotta make sure to show you my best. The Stellar Matrix should be temporarily deactivated, since its core has been dealt with. Let's go back. Give the coordinates to Beatrice, and this mission will be over. Then... Can I have the rest of your day? What do you want to do? <laughs> Let me keep it a secret for now. What are you yearning for? Welcome back. Glad to see you safely return. Thank you for your hard work. A stellar matrix is no match for us. Easy peasy. Have you received the coordinates? Yes, thank you. Leave the rest to us. By the way, Camellia, Shortkeeper asked me to remind you, please use the medical pod in good time. What? My symptoms are already gone. All right, I'll go later. She really worries too much. But she helped keep my bracelet safe too. <laughs> I owe her that. Shall we go? Hmm, let me think. To the surface. Veiled Rock, the starting point. <gasps> when I found those photos, I made a decision. Photos are great for capturing memories. Take some photos of me. In the past, others recorded us, but now we'll have to do it ourselves. Consider it a tangible keepsake. They last longer than our memories, a moment frozen in frame. As the Black Shore's leader, a small task like this would be a piece of cake for you, I bet.
stay focused. Don't take Looks good. Excellent composition. Quite the photographer. Do you still have that bracelet? Good. You can keep it, so... A piece of me always stays with you. Since the past between us is a secret now, consider this bracelet our witness. What exactly is this bracelet? <laughs> it's an old one. It was... a gift. got it for monitoring my rebel spectrum as an overclocking warning device. But I don't really need it anymore. Told you, I'll never lose control again. Except in a special situation like this. In most cases, nothing can even leave a scratch on me. I hit jackpot binding the Matrix. It was a blast, but that's all in the past now. No, I'm quite happy with things as they are right now. No need to risk opening the floodgates and winding up in another medical pod. Since Lady Flora, the past me, chose to seal away those memories, I'm fully behind my decision. As for the memories we used to share, if fate decides to reveal them, they'll resurface naturally as we continue our journey together. Plus... <laughs> Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. Fate has already brought us back together. I bet we'll have more wild stories to share and more games to play. No point dwelling on the past. I'd rather live in the moment. Speaking of which, I have a question for you. Are you happy now? Having lost all memories? Living a new life? Is that so? Good to know. I'm happy too. Every moment dancing with you brings me immense joy. This is where I first set foot on this island, where everything began. The stars lie beneath our feet, where the Tethys system resides. Tethys records all data on Solaris, capturing countless possibilities born and fading away.
But in every possible scenario, we always find each other. All paths in the stars converge towards this single endpoint. So, the universes where we didn't meet must have all perished. Only this one survived. If the universe were a flower, then yes. This must be the perfect world for a gardener like me.